Well, hello and welcome to my channel. Today is June 17th. I don't know when this vlog is going up or this video is going up because I have so much stuff pre-filmed and scheduled. Maybe I'll try to swoop it back, but today I am starting to pack in earnest for two months away. <laughs> on an island. Hi, my name's Tiffany, and this summer I'll be working and living in Blind Channel, a remote community on West Thurlow Island, complete with a marina, store, restaurant, and more. Come along and join the adventure. <laughs> it sounds like really like exotic and exciting, but really it's an island not too, too far away, but it is where I work. <laughs> this is actually my fourth summer going back. I'm gonna have a video linked, I never remember where it is, about my experience working or how I got this job or whatever, so go check out that. But today is an exciting day because it is packing day. <laughs> I mean, it's one of several packing days. It's Thursday today, I believe I'm leaving on Monday, and typically I am someone who likes to start packing like a month in advance so I can, you know, have time to sort through and go through and make sure I don't forget anything. Well, I was supposed to leave next Friday, so lost about five days of packing there. And also I decided to wait until I only had two weeks left. So a little bit stressed, but overall we are doing all right. I've got everything laid out behind me clothes wise. It's, um, we, we pack in <laughs> stages. There's, there's clothing, there's toiletries, there's technology, and then probably a bunch of miscellaneous things. But I'm gonna start with this, just, you know, in case anybody is gonna be in a similar position, uh, the place that I'm going to work is called Blind Channel Resort. It is on an island in BC, the, the coast, and um, it can get really cold there. It can pour rain. It can be really sunny. Like, <laughs> that's the one thing is <laughs> because it's so temperamental, you need lots of different things. But let's get into this. And um, right now I'll talk about clothes. And then as I pack the other things, I will add on to this video and talk about that. But before anything else, I want to talk about what I pack in because I think that's very important. And if you're going to work somewhere, especially if you have to take a boat to that location, your luggage or whatever you're bringing might not be able to be in the boat. So you want something that is water resistant or waterproof. And like, I'm not out here spending several hundreds of dollars on a water resistance bag. So a tote. <laughs> I pack in totes because one, they're really easy to transport. If you don't know what the other side looks like and you don't know if there's like asphalt at roads or if you're clunking everywhere or whatnot, and if you don't know if your stuff can get inside the cabin of that boat, totes, <laughs> totes are the way to go. So this is a 68 liter tote, and I usually pack in two of these. And then I also have a backpack, which I typically keep my tech stuff in just because I can usually have a backpack with me inside the boat. Being my fourth year, I know exactly what all our boats look like. So I kind of know what to expect, but first year I was like the first year I went out I had a suitcase the backpack a smaller tote than this just for my food and then a cooler bag so I also have a cooler bag as well but I find these are really useful as laundry hampers too while you're in the middle of nowhere so seriously suggest this and I this one has holes in it here I've drilled holes in the lid and so I zap strap them shut as well in a previous uh at a previous resort where I worked I had ratchet straps this works just as well. It's also nice too, because it's a logging road to get to the boat. So it keeps things nice and clean. Okay, but seriously, into the clothes now. This looks like a lot and it is. <laughs> I'm probably gonna edit it down a little bit, but this is usually what I do is I just start with a massive pile and then I go, hmm, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. I also use uh, vacuum seal bags to pack my clothes so I can get more in. So two months, it's a lot of time. And like I was saying, the weather is so variable, you never know. So. I have regular socks here, and then I have some thick socks because when you wanna wear boots or whatever, they're nice to have, or if it's cold. I got some underwear, I still need more. Bralettes, bras, bathing suit in case I ever desire to tan, a belt, some tank tops. I'm probably only gonna bring two or three of those, so we'll get rid of one. Shorts, some capris, pants, pajamas, way too many pajama shirts, some sweatpants, long sleeve shirts because the layers are nice some nicer shirts, some button up shirts. I also get staff shirts where I work. So, you know, I don't need to worry too much about that. And then in the back I have like long sleeve shirts that are thicker, all my blind channel gear. I mean, I've got quite a bit of it. Some more sweaters, workout shirts, rain gear, dresses. I'm probably gonna leave one of those, uh, toques and hats, a bag, 
and some lanyards. But wait, there is more because we gotta put some stuff on our feet. So, blendstones. <laughs> Ser wow, those are really dirty. Um, seriously suggest blendstones if you're working remotely, outdoors, etc. These ones are actually blendstone knock knockoffs. They're by UGG. I would suggest getting the actual blendstones because these have heels and it's enough that if you're wearing them for a really long time or if you're walking over a rough terrain, it's annoying. So, good though. <laughs> they they're pretty waterproof and you don't have to worry about mud or anything. They're, they're great. Next suggestion, I mean, it really depends on what your job is and what you're doing. I'm the storekeeper, so my only real requirement for shoes is closed toed. And then my personal requirements for clothing, because they aren't really other than like look presentable, is I try not to wear like super low cut shirts because it's just not professional. So, anyways, I got a new pair of these shoes. I've been wearing these shoes around a lot lately. They're um, Nike Revolution 5. Um, I wear them at my work in town here. And they're pretty good. So I just picked up a new pair of shoes so that my um, my feet would love me because I'm about to go in and work seven days a week for at least two months. And so good good quality shoes. These will be my go-to shoes, but it's nice to have the Blundstones on days where it's kind of miserable or some other shoes. I also have these native shoes. <laughs> they're basically fancier looking Crocs. Um, they're made of like a, a plasticky foam, I would say. They're great for boaters and stuff. Uh, but I just love them as an alternative to slip on. I've tried flip-flops, I've tried slides and everything out there, but because of the terrain and where I got to walk, it just really never worked for me. So like the flip-flops would hurt or my feet would slip out of the slide. So this works, they're great. Also good to wear on a hot day, except then your feet start to sweat and then they go squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> but they're still super cute. And next I have these slip-on like loafer shoes from muck boots they're super cute on the inside they've got like this octopus design i picked them up last year i don't wear them a ton but they're nice to have especially for days if i want to wear like a cute dress see cute um <laughs> so i'm bringing them out this year they're also basically a slip-on except you gotta tie it so i mean not really a slip-on but it's close <laughs> in the past i've never brought rain boots out with me because i've just kind of the first year i didn't and then i've had the blundstone knockoff since but I've been there in the fall a couple times and I really want to get some rain boots now. So I'm going to order some rain boots out to there because we, we have a post office. So it's fantastic. Uh, by muck boots as well. And they're like a fun yellow tie up. I'll try to insert a picture here. <laughs> and then like the last thing I seriously suggest, especially if you're living in staff housing where, you know, there's a lot of people coming in and out all the time and no... <laughs> We clean, but nobody really cleans really well. I seriously suggest a pair of slippers. <laughs> the bunnies were not my first choice, but my slippers that I've had for the last couple of years died, and so I needed some, and I really like the ones with like the solid sole on the bottom, and they were very difficult to find. So anyways, I got these. They're really adorable, but <laughs> didn't really need the bunnies. But seriously, I suggest it. I did not have them the first year, and I just hate it walking around on the floors, and so I've had slippers since then, and it's, it's, it's a life changer. There's honestly probably a few changes that I'm gonna make to the clothes that I have. I'm missing my biker shorts for one, which is nice to wear under the dresses so you don't get, you know, the sweat issues going on. And also some of these dresses are a little bit see-through, so I need to find those. And also I don't need like seven pairs of, or seven pajama shirts, unnecessary. But I think <laughs> the key for packing, especially when you're gonna be away for two months, like. Like I mentioned, we ha we're lucky to have a post office, but not every remote place is. I'm also lucky enough that my friend works there too, and he's on a week on week off schedule. So if I really need anything, um, he can drop by my house and get it. But you know, you kind of want to bring everything that you think you will need. It's in my experience, it is better to err on the side of a little too much than a little too little because then you will be having to do laundry all the time and you never know what the laundry situation is. My first two years when I was out there, we had the beautiful brand new back house that had just been built and it had a stackable washer and dryer in the unit. The last year that I was out there and this year we're in the older house and it only has a washer in it. So if you wanna dry your clothes, you then have to bring them down to the laundry suite. So I like to take my sweet time and um, do laundry irregularly. So that's why I have so many socks. Also, you never know when your feet are gonna get soaking wet and um, so many options. The next step is I'm gonna go through, double check, make sure I've got everything I want and not too much. <laughs> 
pajama shirts. <laughs> and then I am going to start throwing everything into vacuum seal bags. Again, a huge game changer. I started using them last year. They let you bring so much more stuff and they protect your clothes as well. Again, like you don't know if your stuff is going to get wet. So if they're in those bags, they are good to go. So I'm going to now work on the packing of everything here. And uh, then I'll see you in, in the next bit for I don't know what I'm gonna pack next. All right, so all my shoes and footwear are packed in there, save the Blundstones, because I wear them out because they're the biggest. And over here, I have all my clothes packed, plus some scrunchies and masks, because who knows what the mask situation is gonna be. I'm a little concerned. I feel like I might have to edit that a little bit more because that's like full and I only really have this and backpack space, so we'll see. But on top of clothes, I also like to bring some things to do in downtime because while I work every day, I was don't work 24 hours each day, so hobbies is the next thing that I work towards. I would consider vlogging a hobby as well, but I have a whole different section for tech. So here is all my stuff for uh, hobbies. It's mostly embroidery, so I've got all this embroidery floss that I haven't really worked with yet, so, so I want to be able to give it a try have some hoops, because uh, we do Secret Santa, so I will make something, needles and stuff in there, some fabrics, <laughs> a blind channel shirt that I started embroidering last year, another project, and then I also write, so we've got notebooks and post-it notes and pens for that. So I'm definitely making progress and checking things off the massive list here. I think probably next I'm gonna switch to Habba hygiene stuff maybe I don't know I'm really quite lazy but at least I still have a couple days left to pack in um like I don't know half an hour here going out to shop for groceries <laughs> because depending on where you work remotely a lot of places will feed you the place where I live you got to bring your own food there is a store that you can buy in but I always try to bring at least my staples and like the more expensive things it is so bad <laughs> okay so those are going to be consumed before I go, and I'm sorry if it's loud because it's hot in here so the fan's on, but <laughs> I'm kind of at the stage where I'm starting to pack my toiletries, which there's some on here, and there's some of these bags because I just bought it, and also tech, which there's some in there, and then some over here still. Um, yeah, fun, 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 fun. At some point in the near future, I should start um, clearing off the bed, <laughs> but I think... Before that, I'm gonna put on a show and then contemplate life. <laughs> there's just, I feel like there's just still so much. Like I still have a little bit of food downstairs. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. <laughs> I also, in <laughs> things that I didn't need to buy but wanted to, I bought these like <laughs> ivy lights to put up in my room because it's nice to have something fun. That's, that's it, that's all, that's it. <laughs> I just remembered there's more food over here too. Crap. Oh crap, and this bin, <laughs> uh, dear. So day two of packing is not going great, mostly because I worked, went and played frisbee golf, and then I had like a three hour nap. This is the current situation we're in. I have all this to pack, save those clothes because I'm wearing them out. And um, I have that much space, plus the 40 liters in there. So basically what I have here, um, jewelry in there, um, tech stuff, so batteries, chargers, GoPro mounts. This is going to have more tech stuff. Because I have to send my videos out in the mail, I have these padded mailers. <laughs> um, I think I showed the embroidery stuff the other day. I have my cosmetics, I have my makeup, makeup brushes, more toiletries that didn't fit in, my fun little um, sticker printer for photos love that i also suggest bringing out a reusable bag you never know when they might be helpful this this is just it's very helpful drone <laughs> g7x tripods earbuds mounts etc i also have this little bin that i love it's got well off <laughs> and my headlamp Headlamps, um, great to have. I mean, most cell phones do have flashlights, but this is just convenient to have as well. But I also like to just have this bin for like pens and stuff, and I keep my keys in that when I'm not working, so that is nice. So I have that off, but my true lifesaver is, I think it's called Thermo Thermocell. So this has uh, propane in the bottom and it heats up, 
and then this keeps mosquitoes away. I think it's actually butane. Um, so I have replacement butane, replacement scent pads. <laughs> Saves my life. I'm so like, mosquitoes love to eat me and then it's terrible, I hate it. I have some cotton pads, reusable. I have some room decor and then my um, exercise bands, notebooks, which I think I showed, but yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. It's coming along, it's painful. <laughs> but it's coming. Can you tell I got too much sun today? Anyways, one of the other things I suggest to, if you're going and working remotely slash in the middle of nowhere, if you have things that come in cardboard, take them out, leave the cardboard, leave the extra plastic here because anything that you bring out there that needs to be disposed needs to be disposed out there. We burn our garbage, so at least we have that, but still somebody has to burn it, so that's just another fun tip from me. <laughs> well, hello again, and welcome back to day three of packing. I think it's going well, dare I say it. I mean, I know there's still stuff that I need to get, but currently everything that I have, I think is gonna fit, but like my headphones, I need to pack. I think I'm gonna bring my mic, <laughs> which is like overkill, but anyways, here's the situation. Clothing tote, packed, totally fine, closes, great. Uh, this is my other tote. It's a little bit heavier than the clothing tote because there's food and stuff in it. As you can see, I'm bringing my mini waffle iron, not because I need it, but because I want to make waffles at some point. This is pancake mix. <laughs> so that's going pretty well. Over here, I've started to pack my backpack. Um, this is where we're going to start to get questionable. So I currently have the last of my clothes and like my fabric for... My brain just stopped <laughs> for embroidery and stuff and scrunchies and masks and everything. Drone, my little bin. And this is like, ignore that. I think I can get that in my store tote, but this is like all I have left to pack. And technically I have two pairs of glasses here, but I'm only gonna bring one, so that's less. But yeah, it's coming along pretty well. I think, I think we might be okay. Which I really and truly think is a miracle. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to go through my list because I feel like I'm missing something, so I don't know, but like this guy can go there because it's flat. Anything flat I have is going to be totally fine. It's if I do actually want to bring the microphone that we're going to have a problem. Also, laptop, I'll probably just put it in its case and just carry it as is because I like to not bring a lot of stuff. But I mean, when you're going for two months, it's kind of hard not to. But so far, so good. Feeling pretty good. Um... We might be okay. That is the thing. We might be okay. Um, hi, hello, it's me. I'm back. It's, um, I think day four of packing. Did I start this on Thursday? I feel like I started on Thursday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yesterday, um, I want to say not much got done, but a lot got done, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Uh, I was going to bring my microphone out when I went, so I tested it in my laptop, but it was like some weird static that I don't get on my desktop and my laptop is just having issues. <laughs> so I'm not gonna overburden it. So that meant I didn't need to pack that box, which gave me a ton more space in the one tote. And so right now, I'm sorry if it sounds windy, it is hot outside. And so I have one, <laughs> two, a three, <laughs> four, five fans going to keep my room reasonable. It's 26.2 degrees Celsius in here. Anyway, so this is only, this only has that in it, which is fantastic. This tote is now officially full. Um, so I got basically all my dry food in here, makeup. I'm bringing my mini waffle iron because I am on a waffle kick lately. So we need to do that. And then I have masks and puppy bandanas that I made for some people and puppies out there. So yeah, basically my food for my dry stuff, I bring pasta, this is pancake mix, more pasta, my seasonings, more seasonings, and rice. I think that's about it. Should this go down there, maybe? I like don't remember how this was just packed. No, that was on top. Help. Okay, so anyways, this is completely packed. This is still closed. I also just realized that I pulled two pairs of shorts to wear in, which is not so much a thing. Maybe, maybe I can get them in here and still close that. Anyways, this is what I have left to pack. So 
My headphones, which are right on the desk, are gonna go in here. Those headphones are fantastic because they plug in and they're also Bluetooth, which is great. I have my GoPro mount because I'm gonna keep my GoPro accessible. Reusable bag because you never know. I don't think I'm gonna bring these. Empty bag. Makeup, contacts for vision purposes. Glasses also for vision purposes and tech stuff. So today is going to be heavy on checking and making sure I have all my tech stuff because that's something I feel like I've just been throwing in like willy-nilly and it's kind of stuff that I need to make sure I have like a charger for the battery for this camera for my other camera for the GoPro I also need to make sure that I finish loading everything I need onto this hard drive for editing purposes and all that fun stuff so I think today is mostly going to focus on that I have a list of things to do because Theoretically, we're going tomorrow, but still just waiting to see if there's a boat that's actually going in the afternoon, if not maybe the next day. But I do have a list here of tech stuff and like last minute things like my surge bar. I love to bring my surge bar because I think it has like six outlet slots on it, but it also has four USB slots on it, which is great because you never know how many outlets you're going to have. In the roundhouse, which is the house I'm staying in, there's an obscene amount of outlets. There's like, I think four per room which is insane. Maybe it's only three in the small rooms. I don't know, but just things to remember. Before I go though, I'm going to show you what I have downstairs because I do have a couple more things downstairs. And today, probably both these bins will go downstairs and just my backpack will stay up. Okay. So down here, I think it's a 58 liter tote that I have. And this just mostly has my store stuff that I'm going to sell. So I have scrunchies and more scrunchies. <laughs> And I, I put embroidery hoops in there because I'm a sneaky. There's more scrunchies down there and there's stuff to tie on the labels. There's the labels and my blue light glasses <laughs> because I'm running out of space for things. So this is all just stuff I'm going to sell in the store. So, or hopefully sell in the store. So we're just going to close that. And then tonight at some point I need to drill holes in this. Oh, I need to drill them in the bottom too. So what I do is I drill holes here and then I um, zap strap them shut. So that way, even if like if the clip comes undone, cause it's not the greatest clip, we know we're safe. I also have this 96 can cooler and this is what I bring my fridge and frozen stuff out in. So that will be filling up tomorrow with like a four liter of milk and then everything else. <laughs> and then over here, the last things <laughs> that I'm gonna pack, I have a breakfast drink in the morning. So there's my bottle for that and frying pans. So I know it might be a little crazy to bring out frying pans, but the frying pans that are out there are terrible. They absolutely suck. I hate them. <laughs> and so the first year I was out there, I got my mom to send in a frying pan. And ever since I brought my own frying pans out in the summer and brought them back. At the end of last summer, the frying pans that I had brought were like just dead so I left them they're like non-stick and somebody used a metal spatula and just scraped the crap out of it while they were cooking ah, so I got replacement ones which will come out and then come back in so that's all I have left to pack so today's gonna be a day of tech once I get all my tech sorted I will show you what I'm bringing I mean half of it's packed already but it should be okay. Okay, this is it. I officially think I have everything tech-wise still remain to be packed sitting here. I mean, obviously not pictured is this camera, which is my Canon M50 and my Rode um, lav mics. But, you know, we got the chargers for that there. I have the charger for my ring here. Extra SD cards to send my vlogs out in. Doesn't hurt to have an extra set of earbuds. Random cords for charging things. I have my hard drive here. This is my um, HP Sprocket printer, which I love to bring to print, it, print out pictures. <laughs> this is my pen for my laptop. So usually I use it with Photoshop or sometimes I do. This is half of the charger for my Canon G7X. I'm 99% certain the other half is in a tote somewhere. Even though my laptop does have a card slot, I brought this as well, just in case, because you never know, this is a multi-functional card reader, extra batteries for the G7X, extra chargers, GoPro, extra batteries plus charger, some more mounts, even though a lot are packed already, uh, charging cable for that, and um, extra battery bank just in case. And then I have this, I call it my idiot bag, 
which basically has something if I ever forget something in here, so it doesn't hurt to bring that as well. And then my HyperX headphones are in there. I basically tested it. It should all fit the, in there with lots of extra room, so that's fantastic. And now besides the stuff that I have to pack tomorrow, which is my laptop, the surge protector, which I'll actually probably pack later tonight, and my food, I'm done. I'm ready to go. This is a miracle. This is a miracle. So um, I guess I'm going to end this here because nothing more exciting is going to happen. And um, stick around, subscribe. There will be many more vlogs about remote life. <laughs> if you have any thoughts on videos, let me know down below because I've got a couple ideas, but also like I don't know what anyone finds interesting because this is like my fourth season in Blind Channel, but like my sixth summer altogether doing remote work. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.